2, the Gates Trucking, Salt Lake City Terminal. And the drama continues with Big H Trucking. Um, got a 34 in, went to deliver this morning at the 90. Got there as soon as the doors open. It's a drop and hook. But guess what? No empty trailers. So I come back to Prime, Salt Lake City. Nothing available. Uh, a couple hours later, one becomes available. Oh, it's red tagged. Can't take it. So I put it back. Go back to driver's lineup. Yeah, go get another trailer. It's at the uh, Shore Industries. Okay. Go to do a pre-trip. It keeps it keeps shutting off. Alarm. Low suction. Road assist. Can I still use this trailer or is it, or no? Nope. Can't use the trailer. Bring it back. So six miles down the road, come back to Salt Lake City. Sorry about that. Here's another trailer. Running around in circles, looking for this trailer. Go to the trailer shop. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you ping trailer such and such, such and such, such and such? Yeah, it's in Utah, but it's not on the yard. And it's currently, currently uh, got product in it. Go back to driver's lineup. Third time at driver's lineup today. It is now almost two o'clock. My appointment was to be picked up at the 01, 250 miles away at 10 o'clock this morning. And just as luck has it, No trailer. Sorry about that, man. Sorry about that. Yeah, all right, whatever. About a half hour ago, I go, uh, I get a ping. Go get trailer one, but blah, 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 blah. Okay, great. So I hooked to it. And we're about to see if we pass the pre trip or not. So hold on. the P-trip. So I get this trailer and as you would know have a tank of fuel and needs a washout. So here I am waiting on a washout line. So finally, this is the fourth trailer today. Finally, finally got some luck. So I'm gonna actually send a message letting them know that I am attached to the trailer. on the inside, yes. Trash on the inside, yes. Dirty on the outside, yes. Repair, no. Finally. So 
So, I don't know. I try not to make this, you know, make it publicly known. But last week, if you saw my last video, it was a load that I was on for five days. And again, this is my journey. I've never, since I've stepped foot in this truck, have experienced, and I think I mentioned it last week, one problem after another problem after another problem after another problem. It feels like I'm, I'm stuck in Mississippi mud in the springtime. I just keep spinning my wheels and nothing, nothing good happens. Um, I mean, fortunately I'm healthy and the truck is running. That's all you can ask for. But, you know, it, it's just been real, real tough. Uh, it's been frustrating. It's probably one of the reasons why I haven't made a video. And I'm sure, you know, anybody who's in trucking for a period of time can relate to this. Now, again, this is my first time in four years um, that I've experienced just one one scenario after another scenario after another scenario. And it's really no one to blame. Uh, you know, I'm just voicing it because I have never expected or never heard of anybody having one problem after another problem after another problem after another problem. And it just keeps getting better and better. I mean... I mean that facetiously. It, it keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Um, yeah, I'll be honest with you. I'm a human being. I I don't mind losing 14 grand and cut my cutting my strings loose and walking away. But then, no, that's a quitter. I, I'm not. I'm not here to quit. Um, and I know. Eventually, each day will get better and better and better. Each week will get better and better and better. I'm hoping. Um, how long can insane or anomalies keep happening to a person, you know? I don't know. Um, is this a test from, from the gods? You know, I don't know. I don't really follow, you know, religion too much. Um, but it's just been, it's been wearing, um... I've, I have, oh, by the way, I've had 434s in a week. First time that's ever happened. And it's just been, like I said, it's just been one one up and down, one up and down, one up and down, crazy, crazy run. Um, so finally, I'm hoping that this is the last of the shakeouts that need to be shucking out, you know. I figured last week by doing the right thing, by donating the milk, <laughs> the uh, coffee creamer, um, doing it the right way that the stars would line back up but it didn't um, like I said folks it's been really challenging um, I hope nobody goes through an ordeal now in the grand scheme of things looking back down the road futuristically I should say it's all going to be a blur. It's all going to be just a little glitch in the, in the system. But when you're going through it, it kind of sucks, right? And, and really, it comes down to, you know, nobody's out here Oh, man. Tell me I'm in the wrong lane where this guy is just going to do the wash by himself. could be ugly. I could be here for another hour. It, you know, again, this is just part and parcel of what's, what, what's taking place. And, you know, and I just got to roll with the punches. And I was getting angry. I was, I was kind of voicing, you know, letting other people know who have nothing to do with this, you know, just get nasty with people, you know. And it's not their fault. It's me, right? It's my attitude. So I got to real. I got to understand and realize that it's nobody else's fault and the things that just happen. But like I said, when you're going through this whole this whole drama part of what I'm going through, it sucks, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm I don't. You know, as I was telling my girlfriend, like I'm 58 years old. I don't need, really, don't need to do this. I do it because I do love it. You know, remember, I don't, I'm not doing it because I'm penniless 
and I'm living check to check. I'm fine. I got a fatty fund, and I got a very nice bank account. Plus, I got really good investments, and and thank God, crypto is starting to work its way up. Um, I'm staking my stuff. I'm earning eight percent, basically APR, on the stuff that I have staked. If you know what staking is, it's letting somebody else borrow your your tokens in the cryptocurrency world. So every time someone borrows my my tokens. I get a, I get a, I get a percentage. As a guarantee, nothing's guaranteed in life, folks. Death and taxes. But again, that's just a small, small, small part of my investments. So in theory, in theory, what I, why I mentioned is because I'm making more money on the outside of trucking than I am trucking. So I don't need this to, like I said, you know, to live. I choose to do it because I love the peace and quiet. I love the travel. Um, it's an easy job. It really is seamless, stressless. But like I said, what I've been going through, it's been the opposite side of the, of the token. Everything that I hope not for it to be, it's become, or it's becoming, or it became. And like I said, I'm hoping that it stops. This is the end. Um, better days are ahead. And so I just wanted to pass that message along. And now listen, you can say what you want about it. You know, I'm a crybaby, I'm this, I'm that. No, I'm just a grown man who uh, was going through a bunch of stuff that, hey, listen, it can happen to anybody. Um, but it's not, it's happening to me. And when, and when it happens to you, you start taking it personally, um, you know. My fleet manager is well aware of it, but my fleet manager is not going to hold my hand, and he's not my—he's not my father, or he's not my family member. Where we can say, you know, better days are ahead. You know, you got to work through it, and that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to work through it. And like I said, um, it can't go on forever. Like I said, today was very one of the most frustrating days I've had since I've been in trucking, just because. Everything that was supposed to be wasn't. Like I said, I was supposed to be. I was supposed to be loaded and gone by now, but yet I'm still almost 300 miles away from my 90. So anyway, folks, I'm going to share that with you guys. Um, as I always say, you know, stay safe, make great decisions, and uh, I can remind myself of that sometimes. Don't sweat the small stuff because, again, in the grand scheme of things, the scheme of life, this is just a short, a short blip on the whole screen. You know, Matthew Perry died. Big, for a big, big fan of the Friends when, when it was uh, a sitcom in the '90s. A lot of laughs. The guy was hysterical, and I'm, I'm only four years older than he is, and he's no longer here. So I am. You know, it's sad. Like I said, I was a big fan of his. Big fan of Friends all together. Anybody my age probably can relate. Um, it was a weekly show that I looked forward to watching. It took me a little bit to get into it, but once I started getting into it, I really liked it. And uh, what makes me it makes me realize how fast time does go. And what I'm going through again is just a a short blip. So with that being said, I'm gonna shut up. Have a great day. Stay safe. Make great decisions. Peace out.